This video explains how to set up a simple Pro Tools session in order to use the Creative Tools Suite. Step 1. In the Hardware drop-down menu from the Oro Settings menu bar application, select the type of hardware used with the DAW. Select Native if you are using a Pro Tools Native or HD Native system. Select HDX Low Latency if you are using an HDX system with a buffer size lower than 1024 samples. Select HDX High Latency if you are using an HDX system with a buffer size of 1024 samples. Step 2. Select one speaker configuration in the Oro Settings menu bar application. The selected speaker configuration should correspond to the main audio system used. Step 3. From the Output tab of the I.O. Setup window in Pro Tools, create output paths that correspond to the audio system and used. In this video, we will configure a 9.1 configuration as an example. Step 4. From the Bus tab of the I.O. Setup window in Pro Tools, create two 7.1 virtual buses, one named Dummy, the other one named Fader Link. Auto Create Subpath option must be selected. The dummy bus will prove to be useful for certain Oro tracks. When assigned to the output section of the track, this bus will force Pro Tools to properly calculate delay compensation even if the track itself does not process any audio data. The Fader Link bus is meant to use the optional Fader Link feature that allows the Pro Tools Fader, Solo and Mute buttons to control the Oro Panner's Fader, Solo and Mute buttons. X, Y panning can also be linked to the Pro Tools X, Y panning controls. Fader Link can be activated from the Oro Settings drop-down menu. Step 5. In the Edit window of Pro Tools, create one 7.1 aux track named Mix Engine. The input section of this track can be assigned to the Fader Link virtual bus. In this example, the output module will be assigned to the Dummy virtual bus. Insert Oro Mixing Engine plugin in the track. If using HD or HDX audio systems, a DSP plugin must be inserted and activated on the first insert slot of every track that contains an Oro 3D plugin. Step 6. Open the Oro Mixing Engine plugin and select one desired mix profile in the Settings tab. Mix profiles ensure the compatibility of your mix with the supported features and limitations of the target deliverable. Next, select one desired bed configuration. The bed configuration corresponds to the channel-based format in used for the current mix. Step 7. Still in the edit window of Pro Tools, create aux tracks sharing the same formats than the output paths created in the I.O. setup earlier in order to insert the Oro return plugins. The output modules of these tracks must be assigned to the corresponding output paths. Step 8. Open the Oro Return Plugins, select Mix in the Source drop down menus and select Adequate Presets in the Preset drop down menus. Step 9. In the Edit window of Pro Tools, create one mono audio track named Panner. The output module of this track can be assigned to the Fader Link Virtual Bus. Insert the Oro Panner plugin in the track and insert a signal generator before the Oro Panner. Step 10. Start playback and manipulate the controls in the Oro Panner plugin. Panned audio can now be monitored through the selected speaker configuration.